in 2020, there were approximately 36.2 million people living in single person households in the United States. Additionally, there are over 23 million empty nest couples living in households in the United States as well. Kids seem to be living at home longer these days, but that doesn't take away from the fact that there's a huge number of people living with too much house. If that describes you, then I'm here to talk with you quickly about how to know when it's the right time to downsize. Hi, my name is Deanna Bradford. I'm a realtor with Reese Nichols Realtors Excelsior Springs, part of the Bill Hightower team. Downsizing isn't a decision that should be taken lightly, but it is timely. So let's talk about the pros and cons of downsizing. Let's start with the cons. Con number one, the emotional attachment to your home is strong. It can be really hard to let go of a house where you've raised your children and had some very formidable experiences. And if you're downsizing to a smaller home, it can be really hard to give up some of the stuff that you've accumulated while in that home. Another con is finding a suitable replacement in the same location. Depending on where you live, you might run into issues finding another home that's still close to family and friends. Also, it's a lot of work to move, to go through all your stuff and have to make the decision of what to keep, what to toss or donate. And then packing everything up is a huge and draining task. And if you've been in your home for a number of years or even decades, you may be surprised at how much stuff you've actually accumulated over the years. Now let's talk about why most people want to downsize. And that's because it's liberating. Simplifying your space means less complexity, fewer things to manage, fewer things to clean, and fewer moving parts in your life. It also brings peace of mind to many people when they realize they aren't leaving behind a huge sifting and sorting project for their loved ones once they're gone. And of course, let's not forget the financial impact of downsizing. Not only does a smaller house mean less of a mortgage, but it also costs less to maintain it and to heat and cool it. Just having a smaller footprint is less expensive overall. So if you've given thought to downsizing, you should seriously consider it in this hot seller's market. With home prices having gone up 20% in the last year, it's definitely the best time to sell your home and potentially pocket the difference once you've offloaded that extra square footage. So if you have concerns or any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments below or reach me on Facebook and I'd be happy to chat about any concerns you have. No pressure either way. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. If so, I hope you'll like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss upcoming videos when we put them out every Wednesday. Thanks and have a blessed day.